don't think anything in a transmission is supposed to have that much movement. Folks, Rob from Mountain Block Moments. Not even sure that I'm going to do a full video on this, but we'll see how we go. Got a couple of issues with the hydraulics on the old Inter tractor, the 766 Inter. Did videos of me changing tyres on it with the boys. But we've got no PTO drive now and no three point linkage lift. So we'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what I'm going to attempt to do. So the 766, don't have three point linkage or PTO drive. So I have changed the filter on the other side, but in here, is the actual pump for the three-point linkage and there's o-rings in there and once one of those o-rings is perished and lets go uh, it bypasses a well so i'm going to try to pull this off see what we can see inside hopefully not cost myself more money and see what we find uh, yes, the other issue we have is oil leaking uh, where the three-point linkage connects onto the back of the tractor here. Have a look at it. So there must be a shaft that goes back through there, runs all the way through to the other side, I presume. I don't really know why, but there's got to be a seal up in there, so we're leaking oil. From that seal as you can see it's all shiny from having oil leak on it so we might investigate that while we're here uh, we're gonna drop the oil take out these bungs whoop take out that bung drain that oil get a bit of oil in it and see where that gets us trusty barco box a couple of empty 20 litre Oil drums, funnel, fly to lay on. Let's get under there and see if we can't not cover ourselves with oil. I was hoping to save this oil and reuse it, but it's a little bit milky running out of there. The plug's quite good. I don't even know if it's a magnet on there. Probably isn't. Yeah, I'd like to be able to reuse that, so we'll see what it looks like when we get it in a drum. Well, two drums held what was in there. So, this is what we're looking at. That's what's inside that casing that I just pointed out before. And we've got to replace 10, 11 and 14. That's supposed to be the problem children. So, we shall pull that off. See what we find. Pretty confident you're not going to see anything. The little clip has gone on the impact driver and the socket just pulls off. I did go through and break these all. Get the bar first. Whilst I like working on a piece of nice clean pine, it does mean if I drop something it rolls away. <laughs> Eric has taken the good impact driver to work. I'm left with the rubbish at home. Maybe, maybe they're connected to the pump on the other side because we don't know what we're dealing with on the inside. It'd be better and do them as well. I would imagine they're supposed to stay on, and that lets you line everything up when you get in. Uh, 
that one nice toy 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 what I need is a little hammer here. Yeah. Good if it had somewhere where you could put a lifting off stud in. I what that one is there. Hmm. Hard to know, Robert. Hard to know. I think I have to get a hammer and a wedgie thing. Whether that's a screwdriver or a sharp coal chisel. Try again from a, another vantage point. That one was pretty rubbish, though. So. Do here, you're still only gonna see my back, so anyway. What now, Robert? You would think that should. The pump should. Whoop. Oh, I love some oil. Always going to happen. Always going to happen. Oh, doesn't it look beautiful? Beautiful. So, well, that one won't bypass anything. I don't know where that moisture has come from. I'm gonna have a look in the belly of the beast. That milky shit is not good. Who knows where the moisture's come from? Don't have a shed to park it in, so. Moisture comes from all sorts of places. Just hope it's not a. Heat exchange unit or some stupid shit like that. So, um, that there is the pump, they tell me. So, I'm presuming I've got to pull more of it apart to get at those O rings. Certainly 11 and 14, and 10 is in between there and there. So, on the other side of that. All right. So from what I can make out, there'll be, if this has got to be split, there'll be an O-ring in there and two O-rings in here. The, oh uh, yeah, we're going to have a look at that one. So that O-ring there is a bit shit, but no way it can bypass, that just seals straight onto the transmission block. Anyway. Keep pulling it apart. So I've just put my hand inside, uh, inside the transmission housing, not inside the pump. I think I might know where our problem is, and I'm, as per usual, worried that it'll end up costing me more money than it's worth, but we'll see if I can't give you a look. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do what it's doing. 
So that gear there is the gear that drives the pump. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think anything in a transmission is supposed to have that much movement. And I can actually see that the spline on that shaft is stripped as well. Yeah, we'll have a look here in a sec. Yeah, maybe it does supposed to have that much movement. That would slide and that yeah, I've got a little bit of movement in it that I'm not impressed about, but now what engages and disengages there because that gear there runs the gear onto the pump it's very loose I don't like it at all it should not be that loose but that's interesting oh just got oil running up my elbow I think we're going to have to take this big panel off as well and see what's on the other side there. Whether there's some sort of bearing or spring loaded something or other. You would think that should always be under some sort of tension. I think we've found that it's not O-rings anyway. I don't really know. I am tempted to push that pump back in where it belongs. Pull this other panel off, I guess. No, I'll we'll just pull this panel off. See here yeah, what that Let's just see. Might have just downgraded the uh, heat into a draw bar tractor. <clears throat> That's some more rain. Did have a job to do with this enter. I haven't been able to get to it. I did promise them that I was coming to do it. And it didn't happen. Ended up having a little bit of... No, oh, I didn't have a heated discussion. I was just told that I would keep up my end of the bargain. So I could fuck off. It's all cool. Don't worry me. People sometimes think you would have a lot more money than you actually do and have nothing better to do with your time than run around making other people's shit your priority. Oh, oh yeah.
getting into stuff I don't want to get into. <clears throat> Art, even. I bet you just knew that was in there before I even started pulling it apart, didn't you? Why didn't you tell me to stop? Yeah, that's wasn't leaders anyway. Shaft is all the way back in there. Do anything with that. That'll be that shaft. Didn't quite get this one off as clean. I might have screwed that gasket. I think I could salvage that bit of gasket goo. Fuck knows it leaks oil from everywhere else. advantage at all of pulling that off. I think that is it's supposed to have a pork amplifier or something. and even hooked up on it. I think I remember reading something about a pork amplifier on these implements. Silly idea. It's just gone to a speed power shift or something like case had. Hmm. Where did that leave us, Robert? Really don't want to keep chasing this thing because I think I'll chase it all the way inside there somewhere. What we know for sure is nobody else wants to work on these machines. Some days I wished I'd been a heavy diesel mechanic or something rather than a builder. Anyway. Yeah, don't know what to do. Shut it off at that and I'll come up with a plan, I guess. Win lotto, buy a new tractor. Just putting it back together. I'll come up with a plan. Idea what I'm going to do with it actually.
very heavy. Very heavy. Oh yeah. Thank you. So. So he said, I just put that in there. So there it is. Two locating dowels, but there's a pump. Yeah, just put it back in there, easy as that. Nothing is ever easy as that. These are my best work jeans and they're getting oil dribbled on them. Not happy, Jan. Need Pete from just a few acres. He loves into tractors. This one's probably a bit new for him actually. his alley. Be rebuild the whole thing. It wasn't my plan to put oil in that tub, that was my bits tub, but it was either get the oil to run into it or go all over my ply, which is it pretty much has done anyway.
Not sure how many knuckle knuckers they're supposed to be. <sighs> Highly likely I'll be pulling them off again anyway. that can crawl up into there out. I was about to say the weather out, but the weather's getting into it from somewhere anyway. Probably should put that bung back in while we're here. Seems to be something about the Inter. Every time I've gone to make a video with it, other than changing the tyres, I've not been able to complete the job. I made started making a video of slashing the paddock with it once. And something happened and I wasn't able to finish that video and then I started making a video of it grading the roads and I wasn't able to complete that video. Started a video of uh, changing some o-rings and I haven't been able to complete that video. So I think I'll just load this up. It's a cautionary tale. <laughs> about doing things on the inter. I really don't know what to do with it. It's uh, above my pay grade as far as mechanical issues to dig into here. And for me to pay somebody else to do it, probably more than the tractor's worth. But, I need to have a tractor. Isn't farming fun? On top of all that, you have to be told how you're raping the environment and treating animals badly and causing climate catastrophe when it's you personally that's doing it not the people flying around in their jets and going on holidays or the great big tankers showing up 200 tonnes of fuel oil a day the farmers and they wonder why so many farmers top themselves it's a fairly thankless job most of the time and we struggle to make money out of it Anyway, it is what it is. When the time comes and uh, you do shut everybody down, I think the farmers will be all right. They'll manage to feed themselves and their family. You know what you people in the concrete jungle are going to do? Eat each other, I guess. Good luck with that.
Well, until we uh, come up with another cunning plan, I think that's going to be it for the enter. So we'll see if we post this or whether we. Yeah, I can't. See, I can't see me developing a plan to um, get her back up and going at this stage. Just everything at the moment is costing too much money. Whatever we do seems to cost a fortune, so... We can't justify spending it on this tractor. Well folks, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, definitely a job for Ron. Much later on, we'll see where we get to with it. Rob from Mountain Block Moments, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.